Hey guys, welcome to Arthur. Hope all of you are safe and healthy. Wishing you all a very happy Gokul Ashtami. So today we are going to prepare a painting using the decoupage technique. So do not worry if you don't have a decoupage tissue or decoupage sheet. We can might as well print the desired pattern on an A4 sheet and stick it on top of a base. So a base can either be canvas or it can be glass, MDF boards, old clocks or any base that's available. I'm using canvas over here. Make sure to stick it really well. Use your sponge roller. Make sure there are no air gaps. But if there are any air gaps there are high chances for the print to get ripped off as you keep painting i'm using acrylic paint over here since it's a canvas and kind of spreads really well you can also use chalk paint on different mediums a major benefit of using a decoupage sheet is it does not show that you have stuck something on top of your canvas but i'm using a nafo sheet over here and it's evidently seen that i'm sticking or i have stuck something it kind of creates a layer so in order to enhance more levels on our painting i'm using fevicryl molded or any type of clay that you have air dry clay is preferable for these types of painting because that's going to be permanent make sure to stick it really well with uh, fevicol and white glue and press it on top of a canvas because canvas itself has a texture and once you press the clay a little bit it's going to adhere to it firmly you can use silicone molds to get your desired pattern over here i'm going to majorly use landscape which is uh, trees and it's going to be flowers so the molds are kind of quick and easy for us to get the shape you have something called um sculpting paste that's available in um, the stationeries right now and that gives us the freedom of printing through stencils so over here we are using molds that gives us a freedom of printing through stencils especially uh, beautiful patterns we can create beautiful patterns with them that's another medium that works really well and uh, once we're done using these clays it's going to be like a very very convenient uh, option for us to experiment on so uh, we'll be using acrylic paints as i had mentioned and create the painting so that's all for the theory of this painting please enjoy the painting and do let me know how it is
this video was useful. Meet you guys in the next video. Until then, namaste.